patients with mild to moderate uh, stress urine incontinence, that's defined by uh, pad per day use, as well as the weight of the pads, uh, that uh, can be a good candidate for uh, stress, uh, for uh, you know uh, for a male sling that can be addressing the stress urine incontinence. Also, men who uh, is not candidate for artificial urine sphincter can be uh, addressed or treated uh, very uh, effectively with uh, the male sling. Uh, so you can see there are different uh, patient uh, uh, characteristics, if you will, to uh, make them uh, suitable for the, for the male sling. Most of the private and Medicare insurance cover these kind of procedures uh, because it again, addresses a very critical part of the quality of life of those patients and these survivors of from cancer. So, most, most insurance cover these procedures. There are several uh, male slings available in the United States. Uh, typically, I use the virtual male sling as well as the advanced male sling. The sling is made of uh, synthetic mesh uh, that is uh, bioengineered to be compatible with the human tissue, allowing the uh, the bladder urethra area to regain strength and resistance against uh, the urinary leakage. The male uh, virtue sling implanted through a tiny little holes in the skin, allowing us to tunnel the, uh, the mesh around the bladder urethra uh, region, uh, and that will by itself can lift up the bladder and make it more resistant to leakage. It works as a hammock uh, where it by uh, lift up the urethral uh, bladder region, allowing this region to regain strength and able to, to control urination. Uh, like any other surgery, I think pain, uh, discomfort uh, in the area where we place this sling can be uh, occurring in the post-operative period immediately after surgery. Uh, the risk of uh, you know having uh, blood in the urine uh, or even infections, uh, also small risk. Um, the uh, long-term uh, issues could happen is that uh, pay, uh, the mesh can lose its ability to control urination, uh, which require revision or replacement. Um, but generally speaking, these are a very effective way of treating urinary incontinence with very minimum uh, complications.